I'm in Dynamics X here and I'm in procurement sourcing. So let's go through the process of setting up an account that we're going to do budget control on for purchasing. So what I've done is in procurement categories I've created a new category for our expense which is snow clearing for example. It's still winter we need to clear snow. Um, I, I want to track how much we're kind of spending on that. So what I can do is first thing we need to create a new account because I want the these to go to a specific GL account so that I can track uh, my expenses. So let's go across to the GL. So we can go to the general ledger. I can go to my chart of accounts and find the set of accounts that I'm using, in this case the shared chart. Now if I have a look at our accounts, so I'm just going to filter um, and find so now we have one here which is cleaning expense which is 605110 um, I'm going to create a new one which is 111 so let's say 605111 and I'm going to say snow clearing for example now this is going to be an expense and I can mark it for example as um, other expenses all right, so that's our account created. So the next thing is that we want to associate the posting um, of the usage of that category with this account. So let's go and configure that under inventory management and we can find this under the posting. So underneath setup and posting. So here underneath purchase order we have the purchase expenditure for expense and so here I've got some categories created. So I'm going to add a new one and so I'm going to say this is by category and then the category relationship is based on the new category that I created. So snow clearing for example. Now this is where we can then associate the account. So I'm going to say 605111 and therefore we get our new GL account. So this is the account that's going to be used on the purchase order then. So that's our, our first part that will allow us to post on the purchase order with that category. But how do we now associate the budget to that, the budget control? So let's go over to budgeting and what we'll see here is that we got budget control configuration. So if I go into there um, you'll see that our budget control is active at the moment. So um, I'm going to turn this off at the minute but what we'll see is the select main account. So if we go and have a look at the main accounts um, then this will list us our main accounts and if we have a look through the list we called our account 605111 you'll see that it's not enabled for budget control because we just created it. Now the set of accounts is going to be valid based on the um, account structure that's specified so whether you use business unit department what uh, elements you use uh, for the controllers are specified here so let's deactivate um, our budget control so I'm going to turn it off and then this will give me the ability to edit um, so now I can go into my main accounts and we can find our account so 605111 uh, 605111 one, one. all right so now I've enabled it for uh, budget control we need to turn our budget control back on so I'm going to activate this and then we'll turn it on Okay, so it's now enabled, but we don't have any budget amount in there. So let's go to our budget registration entries and put in a budget. So I'm going to create a new registration entry. I'm going to say it's for the budget model FY17. Uh, the budget code will be original budget in this particular case. Um, and therefore, if I save, this will allow me to add a line. So the account structure is uh, our P&L and now I can specify the account so we can find um, our account 605111. Now based on the account structure uh, we might need to put in additional details so let's say 
um, I want to restrict this by business unit um, I could specify a department for example so let's say it's operations um, I could specify a cost center if needed so let's say service and if needed if we're tracking down to an item group if we want additional details we could do that so obviously the values of what we're putting in here needs to match then what we're putting on the purchase order um, in, for the check to um, come into play so in this particular case we're going to say that it's um, a small amount a thousand dollars so that's our dimension structure we're going to value in there I need to update the balances to put this into effect um, so therefore the registrations uh, entered in the system so now for our new account we got a registration entry so let's go and test it out so if I go over to procurement sourcing let's go over to our purchase line so I'm going to go and put in a purchase order and let's pick a vendor so this one will do we'll say okay alright so we're doing a procurement category now if I've got my setup okay then we should see snow clearing here for example and I'm gonna say one uh, each and the unit price is uh, 150 for example maybe that's a week or a month they're cleaning or something like that so what we need to also specify for our budget is the dimension values and so we said 001 we said the cost center was service we said the department was operations said the item group was X1 so this will match now the dimension values now we can check if we go into financials and distribute amounts we'll see that our accounts being picked up because that's picked up from our posting and then we'll see the account values um, that it's going to be used so if these match the uh, what we put in for the budget registration entry then I should be able to do a budget check so we can find that under financials and we'll see perform budget checking and so it ran OK and you'll see that the budget check results worked out OK um, now in this case we the registration entry was a hundred uh, a thousand we put in this for 150 so therefore we've got um, the 850 remaining and we can see that if we have a look at the uh, budget we have a look at the budget checks and warnings I can go into the budget control statistics let's have a look at our cycle so 2017 we can pick that account so we'll see that it's um, budget was a thousand budget funds available uh, 850 so our budgets working for us and the controls in place now depending on those parameters so let's say that this is now 2000 um, the budget entry uh, we can now do the budget check and now we'll get uh, an error message because we exceed the budget funds so depending on those parameters of how you got the control this could be a warning or a stop here for example but that's a quick walk through um, setting up a new category and it's related account so that we can use it with a budget control and configuring and enabling it for budget control.